Hi, here in this video we will see how to create an activity, how to assign it to students and then how to evaluate it. So once you have logged in your account, you have to click on activities. Now you can see create activity. To create activity, you have to click on it. Now you have to select your class. Select the class to which you are assigning and then you can select your subject. If it is science, you can click on science. Now you have to give a title for the activity. I'm naming it as test activity. Now you can add materials. Just like you are adding materials and resources, you can add fill in the blanks, match the following, etc. So first we can add fill in the blanks. So now we have to give a title. Fill in the blanks. FIB question number one. I'm just naming like that. Now you can give the question. So you have to add the answer to be filled in parenthesis. So below you can see how the students will view the question. Next you can give the marks below. I'm giving one mark. Now you can click on save material. Yes, now your material is saved. Now you can add another material. Now let's add match the following. So you should click on match the following. Now again you have to name the match the following question. I'm giving MFQ1 and then you have to enter a description. I'm just giving match the following and now you can add questions. Just like you're adding questions in the resources, first you have to add the question and then you have to give the respected answer near it and you can add another question as well. So you can add as many as match the following questions. I'm just giving three questions. So now you can give the mark of the match the following. I'm giving three marks. And then you have to save the material. Save material. Click on save material. Now your material is saved. So now we'll add a descriptive question. So first you have to give the title of the question. I'm giving DQQ1. So first you have to add the question. And then you can go to answer type. And then it's descriptive already. And then at last you have to add marks okay then you can click on save material this is how you add descriptive questions now we can add multiple choice question again you have to click on question and then you have to give the title of the question I'm giving MCQ Q1 and in the below space you can add the question And then in answer type, you can change it into objective and in answers, you have to give the options. You can give as many as options you want. I'm giving four options. Now below you have to give the correct option which you have given. 
the answer and then you can give the marks and now you can save the material so now we have added four type of questions here four type of activities now you can save your activity now we can assign this created activity to students so on the right side you can see assign activity so first you have to select your class i'm selecting 3a class and division so now you can assign activity to students of 3a or else you can assign to a specific group so when you click on it you can select a group created You can also assign activity to specific batches also. You just have to click on click here to assign to specific batch. And then you have to select the batch. Now you can also choose a due date for this activity. By clicking on this checkbox, you can select a date. After selecting due date, you can click on assign activity to assign activity to all the students, all the selected students. So here I have selected class, group and batch as well. You just need to select any one of those. I just showed all the categories so if you want to view our created activities you can go to view activities now we can see our test activity you can click on the view button and you can view our activity and you can also edit your activity from here So this is how you view and edit your activity. Let's see how to evaluate the activity once the students have done it. So again, you have to click on activities and then you can click on evaluate activities. So now you can click on 3A evaluate. So you can see that these students haven't completed yet so you can search for the student who have completed so you can click on the student who have completed and then you can evaluate it so match the following fill in the blanks and the mcq will be auto evaluated you have to just evaluate multiple i mean uh, descriptive question So you just have to evaluate the descriptive question. So you can give marks for the descriptive question. Once you have given mark, you can click on evaluate. So now you have evaluated this activity. So now you can see the marks code has turned into green color. So it shows that you have evaluated the student's activity. So this is how you evaluate an activity once the student have done it. So hope you have all understood. Thank you.